Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. And I'm Laura Yamada. In the past 50 years, close to 10,000 post office locations have closed. In just the past year, the U.S. Postal Service has lost more than a million dollars in revenue and mailed about a fewer, a million fewer packages than the year before. But the race is on. Right now, the U.S. Postal Service is in the fight of its life to save an industry that's endured more than two centuries of service. How it's spreading out to help cut back and survive. Okay. All right. I was uh, eating lunch here, and I'm doing my mail also at the same time. If you didn't know where to look, you might miss Sanford Chu's Postal Service, deep inside 99 Ranch Market in Mapuna Puna. But for the ones that do... They come here, I mail the packages for them, and then they can go and buy their lunch or... There's a produce store. I actually think this is better because, like you said, it's more convenient for me. I live down Salt Lake, and I come here, it's not even that busy. So it's way more easier for me to just go in and get out. It's one of about 20 of what are called CPUs, or contract postal units, run by private business owners instead of postal employees. Sanford says it's been a rough year for him, too, but his grateful customers keep him hanging on, even if the industry as a whole is having a hard time paying the bills. The Postal Service is facing a severe financial crisis as a result of the recession and the rapid adoption of electronic forms of communication and commerce. The Post Office is considering closing four locations in Hawaii. This one here on Nu'uanu Avenue is one of them. There's also Hanama'ulu, Kapolei, and Kalaupapa. It's a move that may be unavoidable in an effort to cut costs. As a result, we're exploring every possible opportunity to increase our efficiencies and reduce costs. Gonzalez says CPUs are going to be a big part of its future. They're actively pursuing more people who might be willing to open up a place. They also have arrangements with larger businesses such as Costco, CVS and Home Depot. What the customers like is the convenience. Sanford says he can do just about everything they can do at the so-called brick and mortar post offices except for make money orders and passports, but even sell some of his own stuff. All a convenience he knows is catching on. I get, you know, more attention with this gentleman here. <laughs> he recognize me next time. Gonzalez says most people still think they need to wait in line to get stamps. That's available online now. Also online, you can download postage for most boxes, especially flat rate boxes, and you can arrange for the post office to pick it up at your house, all online. As for those possible Hawaii closures, Gonzalez says they're still doing research and won't make a decision until later this year.